Aloha and welcome. My name is Master Paul. Aloha and welcome. My name is Master Paul. And I am honored to be here today on uh, August 15, 2016. It is a Monday. And today I am going to be teaching on the power and the significance of the first soul house. The first soul house is the name of the first chakra in the teachings of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. And so as we do this recording today, I will refer back to this several times. I will wait until all those that are coming online live to check in before I go into the major teaching aspects of this. And we will, of course, invite in all of the holy beings, guides, angels, and saints so that we can receive the highest blessings here today and the highest wisdom. So welcome, Kristen Rojas. Welcome, Mary. Great. And so I am working with some new recording uh, today. I had some difficulty um, with my recording equipment that's hooked up to my vest here. I truly don't know if I'm talking into the phone's recording about two feet away or if it's picking up from this microphone. But it's one of those things that is the nature of recording, so hopefully it will work out well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, today, one of the things that we'll be discussing is the way the first soul house impacts our physical well-being our relationships because there's some some uh, association to our relationships there is also an association to our finances a small one, it is there there is associations with the um, health and energy of the human body one of the secrets that Master Shah taught that comes from early uh, Tao teachings is that the first soul house is the engine of the body. And so I will read from one of his books called Tao Song and Tao Dance, which has some wonderful blessings associated with it and some tremendous teachings built into it. So I'll be reading directly from those. And then after uh, more people join, we will do some practices that allow us to boost power to this area. So we're in for some exciting uh, practices here today. So um, it looks like it's taken a while for other people to check in. Normally we have about uh, at least 10 people by now. There was a lot of people responding to this when I put it out today. So I can only assume they're not being aware. So right now, let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Close your eyes at home. Connect with me. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of source, all committees in heaven, dear the soul of Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul, we love you, we honor you, respect you, appreciate you, and I bow down to you. I ask for your presence here today. Please guide my words. Allow me to speak in Master Shah's voice. Bless me to teach whatever wisdom will serve the students the highest and the best at this time. Please align my heart and soul to your heart and soul that as I offer the teachings, the wisdom, and the blessings, everybody receives the greatest value. We ask all of our downloads treasures to please turn on at this time. We ask them to assist us individually to boost and bless our first soul house. Dear the Source Soul Song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow down to you. I thank you for your unconditional service to all souls. We ask you to please turn on in all those that are joining this video, this podcast today. 
to bless them as they chant with us, to align our hearts and souls, help us to remove our self-created karma. We ask our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints to please be with us here today, to bless us, to turn on all of our treasures, to serve the highest. Let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Again. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it looks like we've had a few more people join us. Thank you for all those that have shared. Thank you, Yvonne, for joining us. Hi, Lun. Thank you, Crystal. Great to see you. Gloria, uh, Cheryl, great to see you. Ryan and Johnny. And anyone that I did not mention, I apologize. I'm mentioning all those that pop up. So again, thank you for joining me. So today's subject is on the power and significance of the first soul house. And in my research this morning, I went to quite a few of Master Shah's books. Uh, the earliest information on this, on the soul houses, started coming out in the Soul Song, Soul Dance book. Um, excuse me, Divine Song and Dance. And that's the purple book that Master Shah uh, did. It's probably about seven years old now. 
And the information in there was very, very valuable. Since then, he added a bit more information. And he added information specific to um, higher level chanting. Chanting that is more related to the values associated with the Tao and the frequencies associated with the Tao. Now one of the things that I'm doing today that you cannot see is I have a special microphone I purchased that is recording onto my computer for a podcast. And so I might say some other things for those that are listening in for the very first time. So for example, what is the Tao? The Tao is the nature of life. The Tao is following nature's way. Master Shah teaches that Tao is not a religion, Tao is not a belief system. It is literally following nature's way. When you follow nature's way, you're operating in the highest frequency. So what's an example of that? If it's sub-zero temperatures outside, you don't go outside for more than two seconds without arctic clothes on. Never go out in a t-shirt. That is going against nature's way. And so everything that we do in, in terms of when we speak of the Tao or practices that include Tao teachings, it's following nature's way. So welcome uh, Cynthia Marie, welcome Nicole, welcome Singh, and welcome also um, Stephanie Cannon. So thank you all for joining us. So let us first uh, connect to the first soul house. Everybody sit up straight. So where is the first soul house? What is the first soul house and what is the power and significance? Let me read from Master Shah's book. This is the Tao Song and Tao Dance book. And it says here, the first soul house is a fist-sized space located at the center of the bottom of your lower abdomen. Specifically where it's at is in between the genitals and the perineum. There is an acupuncture point there called the Hui In acupuncture point. And it is above that, inside the bottom of the torso, it is a fist-sized energy center. Your fist, not mine. The first soul house is the foundation energy center for all seven soul houses, the Wai Jiao and the Tao Song channel. That's additional information for later in this series. I plan on doing each of the seven soul houses, the Wai Jiao and the energy channel and the matter channel, and then we'll put it all together. So this is going to be like a 10-day series here, two weeks each day, focusing on a different uh, aspect of the soul house and a different aspect of how you can empower them to clear your karmic blockages. It is also the key energy center for healing the whole body, especially the reproductive system, the immune system, as well as the anus, the rectum, and the sexual organs. It is the key for increasing sexual power. It is the key soul house for enhancing relationships. It is the key soul house for developing the power of your own Tao song. It is the key powerhouse for developing your confidence and your stability. The first soul house connects with Mother Earth and gathers the soul, mind, and body of yin from the whole body. Now that was on page 86 of this book. So now I'm going to backtrack to an earlier page in this book where he bullet points some other significant values. I might repeat some of them, but there's some also some new information here. So he says that the first soul house, this is on page 35, gathers the message energy and matter of the yin of the entire body. It is the key soul house for healing the whole body because it includes the Hui in acupuncture point. The Hui in acupuncture point, again, is the point between the, uh, the anus and the perineum. And this is a vital acupuncture point for healing all kinds of sickness. Every organ, every cell, every RNA and DNA needs yin-yang balance. The Hui in point can serve to balance yin and yang in every part of the body. Therefore, to do practice for the Huayin acupuncture point is to heal all kinds of sickness. I'll repeat that. To do practice for the Huayin acupuncture point and the first soul house is the key to heal all kinds of sickness. As I read on, you'll start to understand more. 
It is the foundation energy center for the other six soul houses. It is the foundation. It is the beginning. It is the big gear. Have you ever seen how gears work together? You have the larger gear, smaller gear, larger gear, smaller gear. This is the biggest gear that turns the other gears. It is the weigh-in point that is key for gaining Tao abilities. So welcome Suki, welcome Wakur, welcome Christine. The soul, the, it is the key soul house for healing and rejuvenation of the reproductive system and immune system and for healing the anus, rectum, sexual organs and increasing sexual power. But why do we increase sexual power? Because in Master Shah's later teachings, we send that jing, because we're creating jing, up the spinal column, which in turn feeds and nourishes our brain, kidneys, third eye, helps open our spiritual channels. It's, that's why we do this. It's not so that we can be more sexually, have more sexual prowess. Now, um, quite a few people have urinary tract infections. When you boost power to this area, it will naturally help bring uh, strength of immunity to that area and whatever you might be doing to remove those blockages will have a substantial amount more power associated with it. Give me just a second. Okay. The soul mind body of relationship blockages in express, is expressed in the first soul house. Soul blockages are bad karma. Mind blockages include negative mindsets, negative beliefs, negative attitudes, ego and attachments. Body blockages include blockages in the energy and the matter. The first soul house is the sacred powerhouse for developing confidence and stability. What is stability? Do you have any people that you care about that are elderly that can't keep their balance? What about mind stability? So if you work with the elderly and they don't have good balance, do the first soul house practice with them every single day, 15 minutes every day. Watch their stability change. It is the sacred powerhouse for longevity. It is the sacred powerhouse for singing Tao song and divine soul songs and soul song. It is the sacred powerhouse for all singing and all chanting. Where do most people sing? Right here. Those of you who have attended any of Master Shah's Tao Song Tao Dance retreats, you know that he has taught that when we speak, when we sing, our mind, our breath, our thought, our power is from the first soul house. That's when we do not run out of energy, we do not run out of strength here, and that's when we put forth the highest healing power if we have received healing abilities through our sound. And even if we haven't, uh, sound power is one of the four powers. And so no matter what mantra we are chanting, if we chant from the first soul house, the power and significance is much greater. And we're, of course, boosting yin energy to that area. It is the sacred powerhouse for connecting to Mother Earth. Where does Mother Earth connect to the Huayan acupuncture point? It goes through what's called the Bubbling Springs point. Acupuncture calls it the K1 point. If you reach down and touch your foot right now, you go to the part of your foot that's approximately three quarters of the way towards the top of your foot on the bottom part and the pad. So you have the pad of your foot. If you poke right in the middle, where it's like a little crease. It comes up to a little semi-V, three quarters of the way up in the middle. The pad ends and the soft section begins. Right there is your K1 point. That's also called your bubbling springs point. And if you pay attention, if you're doing any earth-based practices, Huayin practices, bringing Mother Earth energy in, you visualize it coming into this uh, bubbling springs point and it goes up through your legs to the first soul house. Huayan acupuncture. Uh, the Huayan communicates with Mother Earth. Mother Earth represents yin, and heaven represents yang. So now Master Shah gives a little bit of additional teaching, Tao teachings, on this gear. 
He says, in ancient Tao teachings, the way in area is named Heidi Loon. Heidi Loon. Hai means sea, as in S-E-A, like the ocean. D means the bottom, or bottom of. Lun means gear. Heidi Lun means the gear at the bottom of the sea. Brilliant, huh? It is the source of the foundation energy for the whole body, just like the engine of a car. That is, is one of the most potent statements you can hear on this entire recording. The Huyin area is like the engine to the car. Your car will go nowhere unless the engine starts and moves. If you lack energy, do this practice every day. Simple. Without a powerful Huyin or Hadilun, a human being cannot have strong energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. The Huyin area, Hadilun, or first soul house, is the key for rejuvenation and longevity. Okay. He also says that when you chant the sacred Tao mantras that we're going to be chanting shortly here, that uh, you may feel warmth in the area, you may feel tingling sensations, you can feel a pulse beating on the uh, Huiyin area or the acupuncture point itself. If these feelings stop after you stop the practice, then you have not highly developed this area. When you have a highly developed first soul house, Huiyin area, then this area will feel warm any time of the day and night. Remember this signal. If you have not reached this level, you do not need more, you do, do not need more practice. Otherwise, it is, this is the one sentence secret. It is vital to highly develop the first soul house for healing, rejuvenation, longevity, and immortality. Okay, so now let us practice. So sit up straight. <clears throat> Body power. It's different for everybody. What Master Shah has taught over the course of time has changed a little bit. Okay? So, ladies, you would place your, le your uh, right hand, okay? It might be opposite in the camera, so pay attention. Ladies, put your right hand underneath your groin area. If your arm feels stretched or uncomfortable, simply point the cusp of your palm towards that area. Okay, men opposite. Left hand would go there. So ideally, you want the center of your palm right here, underneath the center of your uh, torso. Okay, if it's uncomfortable, don't do it. Just put your palm towards that area. The other free hand would be either uh, put, put placed on your lower abdomen or you could also cup it towards that area. So whatever again is most comfortable for you. That's the body power. Sound power, we'll get to in a moment. Uh, mind power, we're going to visualize a fist-sized golden light ball in this area. And this golden light ball can spin counterclockwise. If you have trouble visualizing or holding that, it's okay. Let it spin whatever direction it wants to. Now you are gathering golden light into this area and it's coming from 360 degrees. It's coming from all the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes and it's coming through Mother Earth through your uh, acupuncture points in the bottom of your feet but you gather it from 360 degrees because everywhere has yin energy. When we do the uh, mantra, the soul connection, we will ask these souls to assist us. So your mind power is that visualization. Sound power will be hei ya yo dao. Hei, H-E-I, is the sound power for the first soul house. Repeat after me. Hey, 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 hey. Hey ya yo dao. Hey ya yo dao. Now I will change the last word. Uh, we're going to go through about 15 or 20 minutes of practice. So I will change the last word. It'll go hey ya yo dao. Hey ya yo jong. Hey ya yo ling. Hey ya yo shu. And hey ya yo kong. K O N G. 
I won't go into the teachings of this time, it's in his book, but each one of the last words goes into a different meaning. Zhong is core, Ling is soul, Xu is emptiness, Kong is deeper emptiness. Okay? So, we will change that last word as we go through the chanting. I will lead you, just follow. And soul power. Everybody, connect with me. Repeat after me. Dear Divine, Dear Tao, Dear Source, Dear Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul, I love you. Could you please bless this practice as appropriate to boost my first soul house? I am deeply honored and grateful. Thank you. Dear my first soul house, Huayan Acupuncture Point, I love you. You have the ability to heal yourself, release blockages, and to boost my stamina, energy, vitality, and immunity. Do a great job. Thank you. Dear all my downloads and treasures, I love you. Please turn on. Please come to sit in my first soul house and bless me to boost this area. Thank you. And the last one, we invite in more of the outer souls. Dear Mother Earth, Dear all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, I love you. Can you please bless me to gather yin energy into my first soul house? Thank you. I could go on with inviting many, many souls. The soul of Hei Yayo Dao has a soul. But I don't want to inundate you with too much information. It gives you a good idea. Soul connection, very important. Okay, close your eyes. Visualizing golden light in this area. Place your hands as appropriate to whatever is most comfortable to you. And we will chant Hei Yayo Dao seeing the golden light coming in through the bottom of your feet, seeing it come in from 365 degrees. Let us chant together. Hey, yo dao. Hey, yo dao. Hey, yo dao. Hey, yo dao. Hey, ya, yo, dao. Keep your eyes closed. Focus. Hey, ya, yo, dao. Hey, ya, yo, dao. Hey, ya, yo, dao. Hey, ya, yo, dao. Hey, ya. Down. See the golden light gathering. Hey, ya, yo, down. 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 Hey, ya, yo, dao. 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 Hey, ya, yo. Continue to chant silently. 
visualizing Mother Earth opening her heart, sending you her greatest yin, loving, nurturing energy. All the plants, all the trees, sending you their golden light energy, coursing through Mother Earth's veins, through all of her rivers, directly to you, coming up through the bubbling springs point, through your legs to your first soul house, brighter, 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 stronger, stronger, stronger. See the density of the golden light ball becoming more dense, more bright, spinning, spinning, gathering light from 360 degrees. The first soul house is getting stronger. Your immunity is getting stronger. Your energy is boosting. Relationship blockages are clearing. Hey, ya yo, jong, repeat. Hey, ya yo, jong. 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 Hey, yo, jong. Silently, repeat after me. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought harm to you in any relationships, if I have created emotional suffering, mental suffering, if I have harmed you or your loved ones because of wrong communication, wrong thoughts, words, or actions, I am so sorry. Please forgive me my mistakes. I have learned my lessons. Thank you. Dear all souls, if I have harmed your energy, stamina, vitality, or immunity, if I have introduced into your life harmful things that have caused you to have a lack of energy, stamina, vitality, or immunity, I deeply, deeply apologize. Please forgive me. Thank you. Continue to visualize the golden light. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to your sexual organs, to your urinary systems, to any of the lower torso organs or systems, I deeply and sincerely apologize. 
please forgive me and my ancestors. Thank you. Let us continue to chant Hey Ayo Ling. 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 Hey Ayo Continue to visualize the area, feel the tingling, feel the heat, see the golden light ball gathering the light, condensing, boosting your immunity. Hey, ayo, shu. Hey, ayo, shu. Hey, ayo, shu. Continue to chant silently. I will now do a soul reading of the power and significance of this chanting that you are doing for yourself. <sighs> ha. 
how this is the soul of the divine. I have come to assist all of you in this practice, as has many layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, countless layers of saints, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, all kinds of spiritual fathers and mothers, including those on your heaven's teams, all layers of heaven's saints, animals, especially those who specialize in boosting blockages, boosting power and removing blockages in this area. There are heaven's dogs who have come, who have literally ripped out the darkness that has been there for lifetimes. There is heaven saints that have come, and in place of the darkness that was removed, they have sprinkled light from their own coffers of gathering. There is heaven's herbs that have been placed into this area to help any of the blockages heal. This area tends to be a point of festering for immune level blockages. They include blockages of the urinary tract, female organs, and some of the gastrointestinal system. A great deal of blockages are associated with what you call bacterial and viral infections. The boosting of power to this area causes such a frequency that these truly cannot continue to survive. There has been a great deal of blessings brought to you by stars, planets, galaxies, and universes that are so grateful to be called upon to serve. They actually rarely get called upon to serve, and they are so honored for this opportunity to assist you in returning to my heart. Each of you experienced today through this chanting, this blessing, this practice, approximately 20,000 Shen Qi Jing removal. This means that if you had done the chanting by yourself, it would have taken about 40 hours. That if you were to do this on your own, Without knowing these practices, you would have been, been impacted negatively for about 10 more years by the blockages that were removed by this practice today in this group setting with the calling forth of all of the holy beings. I can assure you that continued practice will only achieve greater results. I am honored to offer you this wisdom as to the value of this practice. You are all my children. When you open your seven soul houses, your Wai Jiao, your Divine and Tao Soul Sun channel, you facilitate the highest return, the highest frequency, the highest healing that you could accomplish in this lifetime. My encouragement to you, my children, is to continue each practice for each soul house as much as possible. You are deeply loved. I am always here to serve you. This is the divine. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So let us bow our head nine times to the divine, to all of the holy beings that offered their service here today heaven's animals, all of those that came. Because when they offer their service, they are using their good karma, their virtue, their shen qi jing to offset our spiritual debts. Very often, only about 5 to 10% of what is removed is because of our efforts. It is the collective calling forth of all of the holy beings that creates the other 90%. You can rest assured of that truth. And honestly, none of this would be possible without Master Shah 
and his ability to bring heaven to earth. So let us bow our head to Master Shah as well. Thank you, Master Shah. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. So please share. How did that impact you? What did you feel? Did you notice any sensations in the lower part of your body? Is your busyness in your head completely gone? Did you move towards emptiness? Was there any vibration down there? Were you sweating? Share what happened for you. Did you get any insights? Anything that could have changed uh, while you were doing this? The sharing is not so much for me as for everybody else because you might say something and then go, ah, yeah, I didn't think about it, but that happened for me too. It helps people who watch this at a later date that might think about listening to this uh, podcast, li watching this video, uh, do I really want to spend an hour to do this? If they start to see the results just by reading your comments, then they too will benefit and their soul journey will be greatly enhanced. Master Shah teaches, when you share, heaven rewards you with virtue. It is one of the fastest ways to receive more virtue. So thank you for your sharing in advance of that. <clears throat> I had a blast doing it because I haven't actually done this very specific practice for a while. And um, I notice when I'm doing it that my heart center opens up quite a bit more. I notice that um, because I have done so many years of practice that it kind of just runs right through my centers and immediately helps my heart center more to open. So Yvonne says, thank you, Divine. Thank you, Heaven's Teams. And thank you, Master Shah, for your service. Uh, Nima, Sima, excuse me, shares, um, lightness, getting to feel like swimming in cool waters. Wonderful. Yeah, often, often it starts, the coolest, by the way, is removal of old energy. I don't know if you've ever had a healing or a massage or something that was profound and you felt this chills or, or frigidness on the tips of your fingers or a cool energy smooth moving through your whole body. That's actually a removal of old energy. Cold energy is old energy. That's a, 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 a saying in the healing industry. So uh, Donna says, I felt a strong pulsing, almost like a heart beating. I now feel so clear in this area. She feels free. Great. Master Shah talks about the pulsing in this area. So remember, one of the keys is half hour from now, if it's still there, great, good news. If it's not, you need a lot more attention to this area. Jagmeet Singh says, I had a lot of sweating and went to emptiness. Great. Thank you, Master Paul, for sharing and leading us in this practice. It's my pleasure. It's, yeah, it's wonderful to do this practice together. <clears throat> and it's good to get the feedback as well because, you know, we're doing it at a distance. This is podcast. This is video. Everything's at a distance. But that's the beautiful thing about soul and soul healing. There is no time. There is no space. Healing happens instantly. So uh, Cheryl Healing Ray says, Da I, Kristen. Um, and uh, Johnny says, vibrations and warmth. Kristen responds, thank you. Cheryl, uh, Renee says, watching inside a busy Starbucks, I was able to focus and was in a state of almost complete emptiness. Wow, how hard is that in the middle of the Starbucks? I felt my heart feeling more open and a cool, uh, a cool sensation. There you go. So you know also, Renee, that it has to do with releasing old blockages. Cynthia Marie says she felt hilt, uh, heat and tingling at her feet. Very interesting. Yeah. So um, it's actually a very beautiful sensation when you actually feel bubbling springs in that center point in the bottom of your feet. They call it bubbling springs for a reason. I have literally felt that bubbling in the bottom of my feet. It is such a cool and unique feeling. And cool, by, I mean like cool dude. It was such a unique feeling. Uh, Yvonne responds by saying, I am practicing Hei Ayo Dao for Soul House and Ai Ayo Dao for the Four Soul House using calligraphy practices uh, 5.30 a.m. in the morning for one hour. Good for you, Yvonne. Congratulations on that practice. Very valuable, I'm sure. And then Cheryl Healing Ray says, Thank you to all souls uh, that are brought forth. She felt the golden light ball spinning in her root chakra. 
and her sinus is cleared. <laughs> I need more of that. Maybe I need to do more of this because clear my sinuses. Uh, Kristen responds, thank you, dearest Master Paul, feeling complete emptiness as well, peace and serenity. And Kristen uh, responds, Kristen Strachan responds, actually in a busy environment but feel much calmer and more centered. Great sharing, makes me so happy, so very happy to hear all this sharing. So, how do we further boost the first soul house, second soul house, third soul house, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh soul houses? You have to use the tools that Master Shah has brought to you. These tools are so very important. Every time he releases a new book, trust me, it has the highest healing in it because he created it at his current power. And then when he, he prints it, he goes to a workshop and he puts more power into it. Use those to boost your power. It is not against the rules to put that newest book, for example, in front of your first soul house. You ask Master Shah's soul, the soul of all of the transmissions in that book, to boost your first soul house, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth soul house, whatever it might be, okay? Also, you could choose to receive blessings. I do offer either calligraphy tracing or crown chakra blessings specifically for each soul house. And you will know which one that you need to do depending on where your blockage areas are. If you have financial blockages, that's typically fourth soul house. If you have relationship blockages, that's typically first soul house. If you have um, female issues, um, that's first soul house. And this is where, for example, crown chakra blessings uh, bless you. If you have immunity issues, first soul house, okay? And so a crown chakra blessing can help you to remove blockages in those areas. And you can learn more about that. You can go to my website, which is listed below this video. I list the honor fees there. Um, I'm always available to serve you when you're ready. And so uh, Diraj says, thank you, Master Paul. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, Divine, for leading us in this practice. Felt tingling in the first soul house and went into emptiness. Thank you so much for the flow. Love you, love you, love you. You are very, very welcome. So <clears throat> let me check uh, as a wrap up what to do next. How? <clears throat> okay. Um, there are three major karmas. Personal karma, ancestral karma, seven soul house karma. In that order, they should be blessed. When a blessing is offered by a divine channel, light comes into the area and whatever darkness chooses to leave, which is up to the divine, will occur. Each of these soul houses has a great deal of blockages in them. I cannot offer light wall protection. Only Master Shah can do that. But I can offer a soul operation for each soul house, the Y Jiao, and the Dao Soul Song channel. I can do it for one soul house of your choice or each one. I'm telling you now because I'm going to repeat this each day. Tomorrow I'm doing the second soul house. Next day, third soul house. I will do all seven soul houses. Then I will, this is teaching and practice. Then I will do the Y Jiao. Then I will do the energy channel. Then I will do the matter channel. 
So there will be 10 days of teaching and there is an opportunity each day to receive a soul operation. I'm going to put forth an honor fee of only $50 for that soul operation. I will allow you to extend it to a loved one if you feel they need it. For those that do all of them, there would normally be an honor fee for 10, 10, seven soul houses, Wai Jiao, Dao Song Channel, uh, um, Energy and Matter Channel, so that's 10. Normally be an honor fee of 500. If somebody wants to do all 10, then I'll bring the honor fee down to 300. I will keep this open the entire time of the teaching, so there's no rush, no hurry. I just want you to be aware of it, so you know where I'm headed, so you can receive the value of it. So a soul operation, for those of you that are not familiar, is when uh, I use a uh, blessing Master Shah gave me to open the area, clear the blockages as appropriate, and then close the area. Uh, I use this very often for pain with very, very good results, and the pain rarely returns, no promises. But if you could do this for your soul house, all your seven soul houses, the Y Jiao, the benefits will be extraordinary. And um, for those of you that may choose to do them prior to these practices, it's highly likely you will have a better series of practices and far greater clearing. It's kind of like climbing up a mountain with, with a little oil on it. It's a little harder to climb. The soul operations clears the oil so that when you climb up the mountain using these practices, you get a lot more traction and a lot better result from the practice. Okay? So, I put that information to you as best I can. Hope if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm here to serve you whenever you're ready. I love you all. I invite you to come back tomorrow. I will be doing the second soul house <clears throat> and it will open up your eyes to all the things it's associated with. There's quite a few organs and systems that we did not talk about today that's associated with it. It, it has many, many implications to your On, to your health and well-being, 